hi guys welcome to odoris healthy tasting meals so today i'm going to show you how i made this delicious multi-purpose egg sauce <laughs> i call it multi-purpose because you can eat it for your rice yam but i used roasted potato today and i'm also going to show you how i prepared the roasted potato so first um these are the ingredients i'll be using for this egg sauce and roasted potato um that other potato i will not be using it now so just kept it aside it's this um one i want to use so we'll just start by peeling it the skin looked rough but the inside is still very much good so don't be deceived by what you see on the outside just give it a hard press if it's still firm not soft know that it is okay even in case you see them on sales you know looking rough like that just give it a little massage around the skin if they are still strong that means it's still okay but if it is soft suggest that it is not okay so you just have to let it go but this one look at it it's still very much good so as I peel it, I will be dropping it in a bowl that is in my sink there in a bowl of water because if you don't drop it in the water, it will be oxidized and that is, you will see it looking darkish. I'm sure you wouldn't want that. So drop it in a bowl of water. So this one has already started germinating so I'll cut out this part and drop it in my garden <laughs> it will still germinate there potatoes are usually very hard to cut <laughs> it almost fell off <laughs> it's usually hard to cut so we give it a hard cut and voila it's cut out so for this egg sauce like i mentioned i'll be using roasted potatoes i don't like frying and i also do not want to cook it so i decide to bake it oven roast like bake it dry like that i'll show you how it looks and also what you will do to it it will not look very dry when you are done baking it so i'm giving it a good slice you can slice it in any shape you want But don't make it um, too thick don't slice it too thick so that it can easily bake maybe 30 minutes so sprinkle salt around it salt also help the oxidizing reduce the oxidizing oxidization rather you can sprinkle salt around it that is after it has been properly washed spread it on your pan like this you might decide to add parchment paper on your pan or foil but I just spread it like that because I already know washing it is not that difficult for me once you're done baking just soak it in the water after 10 minutes wash it goes up off so this pan is kind of very easy for me to wash so I was not bothered is a sprinkle of ginger powder i just want to garnish the potato to also make it maybe look taste great then this is a sprinkle of um that was onion powder that i prepared myself you can just sprinkle it i sprinkle it on the other one too because this pan did not take all of them so i separated it 
I think it's better for me to even mix everything together so that all the potatoes will have a good touch of the seasonings. That is a seasoning cube. Rub it round. <laughs> so everything has to be together to have a uniform taste. Mix it very well to be sure that the potatoes have all gotten the spices. So I use my foil on this because it will fall off if I just arrange them on that um, roasting iron. Just do it like this, very easy and then spread the other part of it there so like I said I will be using a two roasting pan like pan and iron here so if you have your kind of spaced iron and you want to use it just use your foil spread on it and you have another pan added for you to use <laughs> So after this, I will put it in the oven and let it bake. And while it bakes, I will be preparing the ingredients for my sauce. So they've gone to the pan, into the oven. These are the tomatoes I will be using for this delicious sauce. The tomatoes, some of them started um, a kind of softening. They were very strong when I got them and it have stayed for like four days so some of them started softening and I want to separate them bring out those ones that a bit soft that are a bit soft and the hardest ones will also go back into the fridge so I'll use the soft ones today and still preserve the hard ones because I will not be using all of them for the sauce. So after the selection, the tomatoes has to be um, washed again. Because I washed them, I just got them much, washed them, put them inside my cellophane and transfer them into the oven. So today I want to still I want to wash it again and take the hard ones back to the fridge, use the soft ones. So I have to be opening inside. Maybe when you have tomatoes like this, it's also very good to cut it open to see how the inside looks. So I'm taking out some of the seeds and the tomatoes are very juicy too i'll take out some of the excess water because i don't want the yam sauce to be that juicy so give your tomatoes a junky slice like this <laughs> i have a visitor in the kitchen <laughs> they just woke up and want to know what i'm doing in the kitchen it's actually morning i'm trying to make a quick breakfast so i'm done slicing the tomatoes this is my purple onion i used two medium sized purple onion the yellow pepper has been sliced and uh, red chili also have been sliced the tomatoes is still i'm sorry <laughs> tomato <laughs> the potatoes are still in the oven baking so it will just uh, kind of bake at the same time with uh, my sauce and everything will be ready within less than an hour so we are done slicing all the slicables i want to start i want to give it a little fry today i'm using extra virgin olive oil so you can use extra virgin olive oil for your fry that is uh, ginger and garlic there 
I want it to give out the aroma before adding my onions. So if you look around this uh, pan, you see some things around it. That is fish. They are my uh, black fish that I got. So you can still use this method to preserve your cat, your yeah, cat black fish. You know those ones that are around. Just put it around your. Yeah, just put it around your uh, cooker when you're cooking so that the heat from it can be heating it little by little. It helps to preserve it longer. That's how I usually put it around my cooker like this whenever I'm cooking to help them get some heat. So we've now added all the vegetables that I'll be using that is the yellow pepper that just go in you wouldn't want to put it that early so that you don't start coughing because they can be very hot sorry I'm talking just gently because I'm actually very tired so I just have to still put up this video for you guys so give it a good stir and this is the fluted pumpkin leaf I'll be adding to it of course I always like adding that This is my crayfish, so I just want to blend it very quick and add it to the sauce. Crayfish gives beautiful taste to your meal, guys. So you might start incorporating crayfish if you don't use crayfish. My salt, my curry powder, my uh, black pepper and the seasoning cube. Just one seasoning cube goes in with it, so give it a good stir and it will be ready to accept the egg. I'm using five eggs because of the size of the tomato. In fact, the size of the tomato determines how many eggs you're using. If you are using much uh, sauce like this, like if your tomatoes are much you can use more eggs but however you, you still make it the meal will still taste good so I just want all the all the corners to have the egg so once you add your egg don't stir immediately let it cook for some minutes this is my onion powder or flakes to add more flavor to the cooking so I gave it side by side stir to allow the other eggs to feel fully go in to the sauce there's no much juice so this is the time to add your fluted pumpkin leaf once you add it turn off the heat give it a stir and you are done you are good to go you don't need to cook it for long just a little heat is okay for it so you can still preserve the nutrients so we are done very quick and easy 
this egg sauce tasted very yummy and I used it for rice my kids use it for rice and I used the uh, okay this is the um, potato is done roasting so I just wrap it around the foil and let it rest for maybe 10 minutes this help the helped it to remain soft it does not look that flaky and crispy you just look as if it's naturally roasted so here you see the sauce looking so good so the uh, potato is now soft you see it's looking so gorgeous So once you wrap it around your foil like this, it will help it remain. The outside will still be soft. Very yummy. Alright guys, bye.